Hi, I'm Julio Anto from Anto's Fitness and Self-Defense, and I want to tell you what I carry in my pouch. Do I always carry the pouch? No, sometimes I'll carry my gun and I'll carry a knife. I don't carry a knife in the pouch. I carry it on me usually. And in my car, but that's another video, the things I carry. My EDC or everyday carry when I carry this pouch. It comes across. Now, um, I am not a prepper. I am not a survivalist. I, you know, I'm not preparing for the end of the world yet. I'm a Christian, so I know it's going to come. But this is what I carry, knowing the circumstances always before COVID, but since COVID, our world has changed. We have riots, we have mob attacks, it, you know, the ideology. You know, you we have Black Lives Matter Antifa trying to force communism, socialism, and, you know, if you don't say Black Lives Matter, they attack you. You can't say all lives matter, all of that. With that in mind, if you haven't been protecting yourself and carrying and having certain things for surviving an attack, then I'm going to give you what I, I what I carry. So obviously here's where I carry my phone that could be used as a weapon. A phone can be used as a weapon, your cell phone. And I carry a tourniquet. Most likely I'll never have to use a tourniquet, but I carry it just for myself or someone else that might get injured. I carry a, um, a lighter. Well, if you're a, if you're a prepper, you're gonna tell me that's the wrong lighter, man. I just need a lighter if I need to light something up. Never smoke. Never plan to smoke. I carry it for that. CPR, CPR certified. Hopefully, I'll never have to use it either. But if I do, hopefully, save a life. A strong, which I don't think you could tell now. Now a very strong flashlight. Um, if I need to use it for anything or to blind, you know, some kind of predator or criminal or somebody that comes at me. And I also carry a small baton. I carry a larger one in my car. Okay, we do all that type of training at our school, Antis Fitness and Self-Defense in our Krav Maga class. And I've done um, numerous workshops on it. And last but not least, maybe the most important, I carry my gun and an extra magazine. Okay, so what I was telling you is that's the things I carry as a regular everyday citizen that most likely I'm going to die and not use any of it. But it's like good insurance. We all have insurance, health insurance, I hope, and we don't want to go to the doctor. I got life insurance. I don't want to die. This is all to protect me, protect my family from this crazy world we live in right now and the thugs and everything that's happening around the world today. So again, this is not prepper, survival, this is just me. And I add to that physical conditioning, gotta stay in shape because most likely I'm not gonna use none of this, but if I eat unhealthy and could die of a heart attack or some other disease from not eating healthy, I believe physical conditioning or healthy, I'm sorry, healthy eating, physical conditioning, okay, um, Resistance training, like weight training, kettlebells, push-ups, sit-ups, flexibility, stretching, cardio. I don't believe in regular cardio. You, if you know me, you know my saying, cardio sucks. I like hit high-intensity interval training. So with that and firearms training, knife fighting, baton fighting, and training is what I hope to live a functional long life. And if I drop dead right now talking to you, I've lived a great life and that's the way I want to go. I don't want to be, you know, live to be 190 laying in a, in a bed sick. So pretty much it's a little bit. Um, my next video is going to be what I carry in the car. Way more stuff I carry in my car. So thank you for listening. Again, this is Julio Anta from Anta's Fitness and Self-Defense in Doral, a suburb of Miami.